After decades of research, construction, and a Christmas Day launch, we are getting more full-color images from the James Webb Space Telescope. Mark Strassman has a look at the birth of the universe. This is the vast Carina Nebula, 7,600 light years from Earth within our own galaxy, birthing stars and planets. Here, stellar death, a gas cloud envelops a fading star. This image, Stefan's Quintet, shows five galaxies 290 million light years away. Baby pictures of the universe, majestic and humbling from a time machine now staggering NASA scientists. They're fantastic, absolutely beautiful, and they're a real hint at the power that the observatory will have. And liftoff. Launched last Christmas, the Webb Space Telescope's an engineering marvel, unfolding one million miles from Earth. 18 gold-plated segments form a giant mirror. It's protected against solar radiation by a sun shield the size of a tennis court producing ageless clarity. Compare the Hubble telescope's photo of thousands of galaxies with the Webb's infrared technology. So much detail pops into view and will for the next 20 years. It's almost a spiritual experience because you realize that there was a beginning and we have come from that beginning. And in this cosmic slideshow, the best is yet to come. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta. For more, I'd like to bring in Derek Pitts. He is the chief astronomer at Philadelphia's Franklin Institute, which is a space museum and educational center. Welcome, Mr. Pitts. First, I want to just ask you a basic question uh, about, as an astronomer, is this like seeing these new images, is this like your birthday? Is this like Christmas? What is the, the level of excitement and what is ahead and what might be coming from the, from the telescope? John, this is like the 4th of July and Christmas and every other great holiday all rolled up into one. Uh, this is an instrument that is going to provide unprecedented data about the early history of the universe. And so astronomers around the world are excited about what this telescope, what questions this telescope will be able to answer, and even more excited about the questions this telescope will be able to generate. So let me ask about one of the things that the telescope was able to detect. Water vapor uh, in the atmosphere of WASP-96b, a giant planet orbiting a sun-like star, thousands of light years away. What does that presence of water possibly suggest? One of, the, one of the things that NASA is doing in its uh, exploration of the universe is doing what's called chasing the water uh, in its investigation of the possibility of environments elsewhere that might be conducive to the development of life. Now, you'll notice I'm being very careful about how I say that, John. We know that water is a main component here to the development of life on this planet. And so we look for water elsewhere. And seeing water in the atmosphere of a planet orbiting another star leads us to understand that it's possible for water to exist in other places, and that might lead to a better understanding of the possibility for environments where life might, might develop elsewhere. So this telescope is going to help us sort of entertain the possibility of other inhabitants of our universe. It's a big place and lots of possibilities. So, so does that mean that we're essentially, that the, the possibility of what questions may be answered or the new ones that might be raised that could basically shake the fundamental understanding of our universe? Is that, is that the scope of what's uh, possibly on order here? Well, I think there's no question that there will be discoveries made with this telescope that will definitely change uh, how we understand the universe. I mean, we're going to be able to fill in some of the blanks about the origin of the universe, some about the fate of the universe, and some about the process that makes the universe appear as we see it now. And so this will reshape how we understand the universe's existence to be. So, I mean, if this kind of instrument is meant to do exactly that sort of thing, and you could even argue that it wouldn't have been worth it to build and put this telescope out there if we did not have the expectation that we would be changing our fundamental understandings of how the universe works. And final question quickly, chasing water, that's one task that, uh, that scientists and astronomers are looking for. What else 
What other big question is being chased after as this data comes in? Well, one, one of the things we'd like to know is, what was the early history of this universe like? What was it like in the very beginning? And looking at these images of galaxies that represent the universe 13.6 billion years ago, we're getting closer to seeing what the early universe was like. Wonderful. Derek Pitts, thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure, John.